This is the easy release stick and this is the easy release pot. These both contain the same product. So this is a natural product that we use for easy release from a lot of different cutters. Um, so first of all, I'm going to talk about the easy release stick. So this is in stick form. And so we just take the top off of this. Now this I mainly use on the yellow side of the mat. So I'm gonna turn over my textured mat to the yellow side. And then you're just going to just just release a little tiny bit of this, just a little tiny bit off the edge. And then if you're going to do, for example, like a butterfly or a letter, you're just going to put a little bit of this onto the surface. I used to use uh, vegetable shortening for this technique, but vegetable shortening uh, becomes very oily. And as I said, it's sort of also difficult to clean off the board. This is much, much easier. And this is the technique I'm now using. So then you would have the area here, you would take your piece of gum paste. So this is some gum paste, which I've rolled out number four on the pasta machine. And then I'm going to take my uh, cutter I'm going to use. Now you can use the stick here as well. So you can just literally just rub your finger onto the edge of the easy release. And then you're going to then use this for just rubbing over the surface of the letter cutter. So then when you press this onto the top, you press down nice and firmly, and this will then make this very, very easy to use. So we're going to then just take the letter cutter off, and then taking my metal knife tool, I will use my metal knife tool just to remove. So you see the easy release actually keeps the paste stuck to the surface, but plus also using the easy release on the edge of the cutters gives us a nice clean cut. Because when we use patchwork cutters, we're often using a paste a little bit thicker than we would use for other products. So then you would take the, your mini knife, just take this off, and then we generally would put this onto a piece of fun foam or onto the uh, soft or green side of the mat. And this is where this would be left to dry for a few minutes prior to attaching to the cake. So once completed, we would just leave that to one side. Then when you finish your project, just gonna just wipe that very easily off the board, and then we will then be ready to move on. Now, the other option with the easy release is the little pot, all right? So this is the little pot of the same product. And so they're both really, as I said, exactly the same, just, it's just the stick dispenser is very useful for going over the board. Now, these actually both fit into here. So this is actually a little special stand we have for the, um, this is both the easy, um, release stick, easy release pot. This is the super bond, which is another part of the easy arrange. And uh, then this is the easy glue dispenser, the rollerball dispenser. So this would be very convenient to have on your table to work with. Now, when we use the pot, um, this is great to use, for example, for things like tappets or what I call whackets. So these come, this is an FMM range, there's many, many different designs. They come in cutters of letters and all different designs. This is actually a decorative design. So you're just going to use a little bit of this product. So this is use, very useful on more intricate ones. Not, I mean, this is a very basic one, but when you're doing especially like, for example, the old English style or some of the very fine animals or things like that, but you can just gently rub this over the surface, just a little tiny bit on your finger. And then when we take the paste, so this is gum paste, so this is rolled out number five on the pasta machine. And again, in my craftsy class, like my letter and a monogram class, I of course concentrate on letter and a monograms, but I show using these particular products. So what we want to do is you want to make a strip of paste just a little bit bigger than your size of your project. Um, and again, don't have too much gum paste out at one time. And then when you're using this for, for example, a basic design like this, you just would take the cutter, you'd press this on the top. Again, I'm on the textured side of my mat. This is perfect in combination with the easy release. Go around in a circular movement, and you're just gonna whack that on the table so you see how the design comes out beautifully. And then when you're doing something like, for example, here, this is like a little flower vase, uh, which you can use for different types of cake designs. When it has something that's got design in there, I'm going to go around with a circular movement, and then you can either just press in with your 
thumb there or using the three-piece sponge set. You can actually just press in with a piece of sponge as well for some of the more intricate designs and this then gives you the design onto the piece there. And if you're doing something like a lettering that has an inside part, let's say on a letter B or a D, before you tap it out or whack it out, you just remove that tiny piece with a pin prior to taking it out. It's much, much easier. You're not going to damage the shape. So that is the uh, easy release uh, pot. So the easy release pot, so this lasts a very, very long time because you're using such a small amount of this on your finger. And as I said, this, uh, as I said, is also a uh, shelf stable product so this doesn't have to be refrigerated or anything and used in along with the um, easy release stick make a perfect duet to use for as I said for fun cake decorating.